uh, that data has to be churned and for mm. that data to churn it has to go to the it has to get converged with IT environment somewhere and that's becoming that's a kind of risk that air gap yeah. is getting squeezed it's lost right if if a distribution center is uh, compromised and it's not able to produce distribute power it's not going to industry it's not going to consumers the billing stops at the very moment mm. so it start hitting the top line you know hello everyone welcome to the gb show today we have an amazing topic for you that's iot security in manufacturing we call it ot security and we are going to talk about the use cases how we are implementing this uh, ot environment what are the security risks and challenges we have and how we can mitigate all of this so a lot of content we are going to cover and to have a discussion on this we have someone who has 20 years of experience in the industry and known for his work in it environment governance security privacy whatever you can think of he has done a bit in each and every space so we have none other than abhishek mathur from whatsila Hey I am Abhishek welcome to the GB show thank you for having me here sure uh, Abhishek i think it was pleasure it's pleasure to have you on the show and uh, i think you are doing a great job in the industry and what we have heard is the iot and ot experience which you are having and uh, the kind of profile the security governance privacy which you are handling is amazing and i think the topic which we have today on uh, iot and ot security mm -hmm. i th i think everyone uh, knows that iot is everywhere uh, we are using it in the smart appliances smart homes smart cities mm -hmm. uh, retails right even uh, it's the need of the or even the ai robotics need sensors autonomous cars need need sensors iot is everywhere right what all use cases you think from the manufacturing a uh, perspective and what is getting uh, plants uh, used in plants and where you th see uh, this will take the industry ahead yeah very well, that's a very long question to okay. to be start <laughs> with but uh, thank you very much uh, gorav to start right at the point in the manufacturing sector primarily if i talk about which i represent uh, is looking at operational technology with very very focused approach right now uh we have moved from the times where it was supposed to only enable the end user where people can work come to office and start working having their emails accesses or uh, application accesses we have moved from that times now it is actually cont contributing to the yeah. top line to the businesses as such now ot had always been there if you look at the industry 4.0 mm -hmm. before the we were the evolution of uh, after the evolution of a 4.0 uh, ot had always been there but it was like air gapped it was secluded from the it environment and there were specialists who were managing the entire environment now with the coming of uh, data analytics everybody want to see what those sensors are producing right so uh, that data has to be churned and for mm. that data to churn it has to go to the it has to get converge with it environment somewhere and that's become that's a kind of risk that air gap yeah. is getting squeezed okay mm -hmm. and what are the different use cases you see in manufacturing right now so there are a lot of use cases in a sense that uh, not only manufacturing but uh, everything which has a, which is a critical infrastructure mm. uh, talking about uh, power distribution talking about nuclear plants talking about uh, you talk about water distribution centers smart cities which india is trying to push everywhere everything is connected right so everything which is de every device is connected that works on operational technology yeah and so when we have this you know we know that technology is now enabling the business and with iot's it's taking the manufacturing to the next level and mm -hmm. everything comes with pros and cons right so when this ot when we talk about the security as a ciso because you wear a dual mm -hmm. hat right you know you you have experience in it you have mm -hmm. experience in security of course you see lot of use cases which will add value mm -hmm. but when you are wearing security hat are you a bit worried 
Yes, indeed. And it's not only a nightmare for me, but for the industry per se. Because as I said, it hits the top line, it hits the bottom line. Mm -hmm. OT, when we talk about, um, the slight difference with IT is that <clears throat> IT is a bit more concerned about uh, uh, data privacy, right? They want mm -hmm. to ensure that data resides within, stays within the environment. For OT in that CIA triangle, which we all study as a security mm -hmm. students, right? Availability becomes the prim primary thing. Mm. Any, any mishap in the OT environment may impact the availability, mm. you know? So if I give an example, an analogy from the industry, let's talk about the software, uh, not software, but the power distribution company. Mm. And two hours of power failure is actually a business loss, complete business loss. Right, if, if a distribution center is uh, compromised and it's not able to produce, distribute power, it's not going to industry, it's not going to consumers, the billing stops at the very moment. Hmm. So it starts hitting the top line, you know. Okay, Abhishek, you have actually brought a very uh, valid point where you talk about the IT conversions and we know that IT and OT need to be separated. but. Now it's getting clubbed and also people are managing it remotely. A lot of cloud infrastructure is getting used. What are the problems you think the IT and security guys are faced, going to face because of this? So uh, the biggest problem when it comes to conversion is, is, is the whatever IT is inheriting the network security level. Like for example, if it's a denial of service on some IT environment hmm. and that will impact the OT environment per se. Just have an example. Yeah. Any any ransomware attack, anything which is bringing down the entire environment, right? Everything is intermingled. So factories cannot work if the supply chain management system is not working. Hmm. If, for example, if a supply chain management got compromised and the, it's not working and it's not uh, having any uh, transactions possible, you can't keep on producing, right? That produ production line has to stop. Hmm. Very important use case is one of the biggest uh, manufacturers of office equipment. Um, mm. If I can, can I name the? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. So, steel case, right? So mm. they had to bring down their factory production worldwide for two uh, two weeks, oh, and which yeah. is a big thing. And uh, when they form filled the form with the uh, security board, is uh, they say that they were compromised and uh, they had the difficulties. So not probably on the OT environment, but the intermingled uh, uh, environment, which is like some other, it could be some ERPs, it could be some uh, uh, supply chain, it could be uh, other production lines. But then again, the hit was on the top line. Hmm. All right, so OT inherits most of the problems which IT has, right? IT inherits and that in affects the OT environment, hmm. be it a DDoS attack. If uh, there's a DDoS attack on your network line, right? If the, if the server, if the router is choked up, that impacts the OT. Uh, for example, if uh, another environment which is intermingled with uh, within IT and it impacts the, uh, it has a direct impact like ordering system, right? Mm. CRMs or uh, or the master data, they all get impact the pro the production line. If they are not there, if 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 the user if the business is not aware what's what's coming up, how the production line will produce. So these are the things which has to be thought about before intermingling whether we want the environments to be separated or we want the environments to be together. Mm. Uh, 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 we, but we need to plan in that way, you know. Um, bigger challenge, one more challenge if I can talk about Gaurav, is uh, the proprietary aspect of the, of the OT applications. Okay. Mm. Not every application is very, very open and they're very, very old as such, legacy environments. There are no patches available. There's no frequent patching. You cannot bring down the environment, unlike IT, where you can have a kind of a schedule break and you update the environments. For with factories, especially some production lines, yeah. you cannot have a product break at all. Uh, interesting aspect, of, uh, Abhishek, uh, about the proprietary software in IoT, which we are talking about. That's, of course, a, a big concern when we are uh, developing or putting those applications together. But apart from that, when we are specifically talking about IT, we talk about, you know, a lot of uh, zero trust, perimeter security, security by design and things, right? The same concept applies to the OT security as well or how you see the solutioning of the security problem in that particular environment? They all apply there. So security by design 
is a dream for everyone, anyone who is managing the OT environment. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, uh, OT environments are for to support an up environment which is which will run for a few decades. Hmm. Think of a, a nuclear plant. Hmm. You, you just use don't use nuclear plant or refresh the environment in few five years, five years to seven years. Like, unlike IT, IT applications keeps on refreshing. IT yeah. processes keeps on changing. But you cannot have a nuclear plant which is like just for a few years. It has to be for decades and decades, right? Uh, so environments which are inherited, uh, they had been a different types of environment. There had been no uh, security thought process in place, right? Mm -hmm. And now when we are talking about design, uh, security by design and OT environment, that is, that is possible with the new environments coming in, new factories coming in, new systems coming in. Uh, fortunately, many uh, proprietary producers of applications and those processes uh, are collab open to collaborate now, mm -hmm. which was not the case few years ago, right? And five, seven years ago, nobody wanted to collaborate. Now everybody wanted to collaborate. Things are working in that model. So that has changed. And uh, security by design is a very, very concept. You start at a right note. Mm. And with these smarter companies, with these smarter security providers, they can foresee what's happening in few next decade or so. At least that gives a cushion, right? Mm -hmm. That gives a cushion to, to the biggest investments you have done. Factories are not made in few millions or billions of rupees. It's like a lot of money goes, a lot of effort goes, a lot of people go in, uh, are there and a lot of uh, other aspects as well. So security... While designing OT environment, security has to be there in the in the forefront. Mm. Even for the legacy environments, even for the legacy environments, that is very important to now see how that can be layered. The security can be security layer can be applied. Mm. Okay. You need to put those intrusion detection system on the network. You need to put those firewalls in the network. You need to ensure that when you are collaborate, uh, going into the same code switch, how that traffic is moving. You need to monitor the data in move because uh, with OT environment, generally you don't have data in rest. But as I said, availability is the key. You have to do everything possible so the data is available. And most important aspect, as I said in one of the previous statement is the people. People who know their processes on the mm. OT, on the factory side, and people who understand the IT technology and the technology per se, security technology, they need to collaborate. They have to come together in setting the priorities to, as a common priorities, right? They cannot have separate priorities. Okay. And I think uh, at the last note which you have brought is the people, right? Uh, we know uh, OT security, there's a lot of skill gap which we have, right? Mm -hmm. uh, for my audience here, uh, how you will like to uh, tell that what they can do to learn more about OT and uh, OT security. Okay, for, for what I have seen out of experience, uh, OT environments are generally designed to work in extreme conditions, Gaurav. Uh, just imagine that any environment, any factory will never be at the center of the city, right? They will be in the extreme areas. Some oil rig, for, as a matter of fact, uh, that will be somewhere for example, if it's in Saudi, it's very like extreme temperature or a submarine, which is under the sea. Uh, and OT environments impacts the human life as well. Mm. And every organization who are into manufacturing, they in wanted to ensure there's a zero day, in zero injury. And that's one of the key KPIs. Zero injury is very, very important aspect. So we need to ensure from that perspective and whoever want to get into the OT environment, learn business processes, learn technology processes, and obviously the security tech concepts, which are overlapping at times, hmm. uh, what you have in IT and OT, but learn electronics part of it because the sensors talk a lot. Okay. A great insights, Abhishek. I think the audience uh, must have got many insights from you. And as you mentioned, sensor. Yes, everyone, keep learning the about the sensors. And uh, Abhishek, uh, it was nice talking. And I have something for you. Uh, that's uh, a small hamper from our side, the GB show. And Thank you very much, Gaurav, for nice. having me on the show. And wish you good luck for future episodes as well. It had, it had, they had been very, very informative sessions. I've uh, attended all of them on YouTube and other channels, but 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर हैविंग मी अगेन थैंक यू एंड गुड लक ओके एवरीवन आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड टेक केयर टिल देन सी या